Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. In today's video, I'm going to talk about best web development courses on Udemy. Most important thing that I want to say to you guys that there's a lot of courses out there and most of the time you can't go wrong. But what I'm going to tell you is I'm going to give you one of my best tips when it comes down to choosing courses and here's why. So there's a lot of courses out there that combine full stack web development into one course. That's a lot of discipline in one video. It might be one 40 hour video, but if you think about it, is it enough time to learn full web development? So when you guys choosing a course, do not buy one big humongous course that you think is going to teach you everything because it won't. What you're going to do, you're going to learn a little bit about a lot. And so when you're starting out, especially if you're a beginner you want to make sure that you get a good foundation so my recommendation for you guys when you're choosing videos on Udemy to learn especially when it comes to web development is to get three videos yes I said it three videos what videos should there be well I'm going to tell you right now number one you need to find one designated video that covers HTML and CSS only do not even think about doing JavaScript at this point because it's not going to help you so your first course should be HTML and CSS especially if you're a beginner after that you're good to go the next course you should find is you should find a course on JavaScript why because you need to understand JavaScript the basics you need to understand the language if you want anything to do in web development if you don't know JavaScript you basically can't do anything unless you're gonna do HTML and, uh, and CSS emails. Uh, that's about it, like, I don't know what else you're gonna do. So you need to learn JavaScript. Again, one designated course for JavaScript. That course should cover the basic of the language, it should cover DOM manipulation, and it should introduce you how to make API calls via fetch and using things like async await or promises. That's very important. And then finally, number three, you should pick your last course, your third course that covers some sort of JavaScript framework. You literally have two to choose from. React, React, okay, I'm just kidding. React, Angular, and Vue, a third one, which is kind of good. So I know I said two, but you could choose from those three. If you're looking to get a job and you want to make sure you have the easiest time possible because of all the opportunity, I would suggest doing React.js. And here we are. You heard it here first. As a beginner, do not take one course that covers full stack development. At this point, it's not going to help you at all. Yes, you might have a cool project that you build, but it's going to leave you more confused than anything else. I know this because I've done that. The best progress I made is when I took courses that individually cover one topic on a deeper level. So again, I'm going to review because I can't overstate it. You need to spend like what is going to be $36 to buy three courses on Udemy on sale because they're like, what, $11.99? So you need one HTML and CSS course. Two, you need one designated JavaScript course. And three, you need a React JS course. After those three courses, and you have to do them from start to finish, and after each course you complete, you should try to build your own project from scratch based on what you learned. So after the three courses, this is what you should have. Number one, you should have all the stuff you built because of the course, but most importantly, after you finish HTML and CSS, you should create one HTML and CSS website. That should be in your portfolio. Number two, after you complete the JavaScript course, whatever things you build in that course, it's good, but you need to sit down and create your own JavaScript project. That has nothing to do with what uh, the course did, but you build that project based on the things you learned from that course. So what I'm getting at, after you copy a bunch of other people showing you what they're doing because you're taking their tutorials, you should build your own thing. And number three, you do the same thing with that React course. After you finish your React, you're probably gonna have a nice project that was presented in that React course. You didn't make that, you didn't invent that, the instructor did, so even though you could count it for your portfolio, I want you to build your own project in React. So after the three courses, you should have three projects, one HTML, CSS, one JavaScript, and one React project that you could add to your portfolio. Bam, three courses, $36 later, you have three projects. But here's the more important part that nobody tells you. You're probably not gonna finish them. You're probably not gonna put in the work. Like you're probably wondering how am I able to so confidently tell you that you're not gonna finish those courses because I myself have not finished 
like 95% of the courses I own. If you don't believe me, I could share a video here where I talk about all the courses I have are new to me and I still buy courses even though I know I'm not gonna finish. It's like a problem I have. So the more deeper problem is that everybody has the shiny object syndrome where you just wanna jump from one thing to the other thing, the coolest thing. What's the coolest video I can watch on YouTube? Probably mine, maybe not. But the point is you need to settle down, you need to stop, you need to calm yourself and you need to choose one course in HTML HTML, CSS, finish it, build one project. Two, one JavaScript course, one, only one, finish it, build a project. Three, one React course, finish it, build a project. I wanna see three courses, three projects. So this is gonna be my challenge for this channel. You know what, I'm gonna do the same challenge Man, I have a lot of stuff going on. Maybe like like I've done this challenge already. I do have the three projects that I built, but I'm almost tempted to do it again just to show you guys this is what you need to do. You need to not do a lot of things and jump from place to place. You just have to commit and do one thing. So let me know in the comments if you're willing to try this challenge. I challenge you right now to do this. And I guarantee you after three courses, after three projects, you're gonna be better off than jumping from coolest thing to the new coolest thing from video to video. And if you have any better suggestions, let me know in the comments below. But the reason why I'm telling you because I've made so many mistakes and I just want you guys to not make the same mistakes. I want you guys to succeed in this thing in web development. Also, I'd like to make this video for you guys just because I need to make videos every day. I'm just being honest with you guys. But honestly, this is like the most best advice I could have have gotten like five years ago when I started coding. It would have saved me God who knows how much time. With that being said, I'm working on some better quality videos where I talk about JavaScript, talk about React. They do take a little bit more time, so keep your eye open for those. If you like what you see on this channel, consider subscribing. Your love and support it goes a long way. A lot of people wondering, what's the agenda? My agenda is just to help you guys through my experience and maybe in a year and a half ago, sell some courses, yeah. You know, what, what? You gonna judge me now? Uh, believe me, I'm gonna make so much YouTube content, you don't even have to buy my courses. But the only thing is, you guys are gonna feel so bad because of how much content I put on, you're gonna spend like 10 bucks and buy, I'm just kidding, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter right now, because I'm not selling any courses for another year, so it doesn't even matter. I'm just babbling now to get the view time up on my YouTube. Anyway, I love you guys. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe out there with all the crazy stuff going on. Don't stop coding, and I'll see you guys in the next one.